and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. The royal court announced today that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is leaving the kingdom tomorrow to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, leading Bahrain's delegation to the 4th Arab-South American Summit set to be held in Riyadh on the 10th and 11th of November. The participation comes in answer of an invitation His Majesty King Hamad received from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Ghdebiya Palace today, Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, and several MPs in the presence of former Representative Speaker Khalifa Al Zahrani and senior state officials. The Prime Minister said that, that attempts to destabilize the region will not stop after each conspiracy is thwarted. Stressed that such challenges imposed or impo um, imposes commitment to preserve internal security through cooperation between the government and the representatives of the people. He said the global economic situation requires Bahrain to focus on developing national investment ability, which needs legislative support from the representatives and Shura councils. He pointed out the national economic and developmental achievements are the outcome of everyone's cooperation, adding that this cooperation must be enhanced based on an economic infrastructure. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the role of the representatives and Shura councils in the political life and in supporting the development march led by the government through legislations and laws supporting it. He stressed that the fields of governmental parliamentarian cooperation is being consolidated due to the mutual desire to increase national accomplishments and gains.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghdebiya Palace. His Royal Highness directed the executive committees led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, ministries and government bodies to follow up with the recommendations of the National Audit Annual Report of 2014-2015. He emphasized that the government is committed to ensuring that public funds are used efficiently and for the best interests of the kingdom's citizens. He expressed appreciation to the Interior Ministry for its continued efforts and ongoing security operations to combat terrorism, which recently resulted in the arrest of 47 suspects who plan to carry out terror attacks in the kingdom. Security forces also seized highly explosive materials and firearms stored in a number of residential areas. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs to prepare a report on the implementation of the Government Action Plan. He also received updates on the latest developments regarding cases of cholera in the Kingdom. He stressed the importance of the Ministry of Health's efforts to put in place precautionary measures to prevent the spread of all infectious diseases. He emphasized the importance of ensuring vaccinations are available in all health centers and the need to increase public awareness on measures to avoid infection. His Royal Highness then commissioned a report from Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalizing Expenditure, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on temporarily discontinuing bonuses for employees working in companies partly owned by the government. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the recently held Bahrain International Property Exhibition, an, an, an annual event that provides a forum for real estate professionals to exchange expertise and Bahraini property companies to present the latest development projects to investment, investors. He welcomed Bahrain's election as a Vice President of the General Conference of UNESCO for the second consecutive year and affirmed the, commitment, or the Kingdom's commitment to supporting all UNESCO educational programs, particularly the Education for All programs, as well as ICT development and programs that promote the principles of coexistence and tolerance. His Royal Highness then directed the relevant authorities to review the Kingdom's regulatory legislation that affects local businessmen in order to encourage investment, in order to achieve economic development for the Kingdom. The Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding the ratification of the amended protocol of the Marrakesh Agreement establishing the World Trade Organization, which relates to further facilitating export and import operations at customs ports. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum regarding an MOU between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of France related to the an Alliance Franchise French Learning Center in Bahrain. The memorandum aims to further incorporate, uh, incorporate and promote French language and literature in Bahraini schools and encourage exchange visits by scientists, researchers and students. It also aims to provide more scholarship opportunities for Bahraini students to study in France. The Cabinet referred the memorandum to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet took note of a number of draft proposals by the Legislative Authority in order to take the necessary measures. After the Cabinet meeting, the Minister of Information Affairs and Representatives and Shura Council Affairs, Isa Al Hamadi, held a press conference outlining the issues discussed. He affirmed that the Ministry of Health are taking the necessary procedures to prevent the cholera virus and providing all kinds of necessary measures and communication with officials of World Health Organization for further cooperation. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa participated today in the Arab League Council Ministerial Meeting in its extraordinary session held in Riyadh to discuss the recent developments in Palestine. The Arab League condemned the organized terrorism adopted by Israel and its war crimes and affirmed the, the illegality of the settlements built on Palestinian land. The Arab League Council warned that continuous Israeli violations could lead to an end of any political settlement for the Palestinian problem based on the two-state solution. 
The Arab League urged the Security Council to implement the Fourth Geneva Convention to the, to the occupied Palestinian territory and to accelerate efforts regarding the protection of Al-Aqsa Mosque and to stop all the Israeli violations. It also called on the Palestinian people to unify their stances through forming a national unity government and hold the general election in order to confront the Israeli threat, which aims to target its unity. The Arab League affirmed its support to the Palestinian leadership in order to achieve an independent state with Jerusalem as its capital. Here's Barat with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain Oil Share Index closed today at 1,250.72 points, an increase of 4.04 points above yesterday's closing. The raise was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 59% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 47 equity transactions took place to the volume of 1,871,162 shares, worth a total value of 229,149 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 